All right, Lumberjacks, welcome back to another Forster Friday. Now, today we're going to be doing something a little bit different, or I guess something we haven't done for some time now. Um, we're actually going to be playing some scrap mechanic here, and we're going to finish up on the Tiger Cat Swing Boom Skitter that I had started on. Uh, I did post the picture of it here, or I did post the picture of it on my Discord as well as my Facebook. Um, those were some some pretty nice little screenshots I took of it. Uh, and obviously I didn't want to take, you know, too many pictures of it and upload it, um, you know, give it away completely because it's not, not 100, 100% finished. So we're going to, we're going to finish it up. I just got a couple more small details that I need to, uh, go over, kind of tweak a little bit, if you will. Um, so yeah. Uh, I was going to play on the crossplay server tonight, tonight, but uh, nobody really got on, so I'm like, you know what, let's go on Scrap Mechanic and just go ahead and finish this build here. Um, I will say that I am I'm pretty happy with the way this is, the way it's turned out. It actually looks pretty, pretty sweet. Uh, I spent about two days working on it, two day and a half, whatever. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm I'm pretty pretty happy with the way it turned out. So going on here, what do I got going? Okay, so here it is. Um, actually, I think yeah, this is how it this is how it loads in with that all the way down. And I currently don't have a button on the outside, but if we hop inside through the roof here and we hit button number zero. Uh, the door does open. I decided to just put one door on it. Um, one second here. Decided to put one door on it. Just to keep things simple. I was going to do... Was going to do two doors, but... Um, decided to do one. Because realistically, you're going to be getting in it from this side. Um, not saying that a second door couldn't be done. But... I am just going to leave it on one for the time being. So yeah, if we hop in here and let's go ahead and close the door and I'll go over how I set it up. But first I want to show you guys that it does function. Let me zoom out a little bit. So it does function. Get your, your boom in and out and then you have your stick. It goes up and down. Rotates left and right as that claw settles down here. Um, there is a blade on it, which I do need to adjust how much it goes down because right now it's it goes down a little too far. Uh, I believe button eight rotates the claw 90 degrees. Ninety degrees, and then if we hit Number nine, claw will actually close. Now, it's definitely not perfect. I've, you know, there's a couple little design elements that probably could be a lot better, but you know, just for for me, just sitting down for two days doing it, it's not bad. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get this back here. And oh, let's see, uh, come on. There we go. All right. So I guess now what we can do is kind of go over um, whoever the, the build process of it real quick here. I'm gonna try to keep this short for you guys, but yeah, I originally started with the back end here and you know, I started with the back half, if you will, and kind of build off of that. And one, uh, one thing to note about the the, the rear end of this is that these wheels are free floating. So if you were to go like over a, a log or a tree or yeah, log or a tree or, you know, rock or just different envi environments, those wheels will actually float. Uh, one thing I did have to add in, which isn't on um, the tire cat in real life is I had to add these brackets here. Cause if you have too much power going to the wheels, these will actually, like flip around 360 
Uh, so I had to kind of put those there. I was going to put springs and then have like a little shock absorption or whatever you want to call it. Um, but realized it just made it look too bulky. So I threw those in. Um, and I, yeah, so I did the, the back half, started on the crane. And then I actually ended up moving towards the front. And believe it or not, there's like six engines inside here. Um, they're just kind of... I'll actually show you guys. Oh no, now I did it. Oh, wait, that's all right. Oh no. I'm breaking stuff. Hold on. Yeah, uh, let's, let's load that back in again here. Okay, skitter. There we go. All right, so maybe let's open it up from the top here. Uh, Oz Logging said, hi mate, how are you? I am doing well. I am doing well, not enjoying the weather. A little, little cold. Um, but yeah, see, I've got six engines packed into here. I've got the six buttons, a couple controllers. I really wanted the whole thing to kind of look streamlined, if you will. I didn't want a bunch of controllers and buttons on the outside. Um, so I was able to pack six engines in there and those run the, the crane. And then there's also an engine right there that runs the, uh, the six wheels. Um, so I did struggle at first trying to, trying to get this to move up and down, um, the way it does. I was trying to use, uh, one of the controllers to do it. And realized that that wasn't working, so I actually, I actually spawned in my Tiger Cat Buncher and was looking. I was like, hey, that's how I did it. I put a bunch of engines in. Of course, this one's a little more simple. There's only that pivot point, that one, and that one. So... I think this is, this might be a, uh, I know when I was going through the blueprints that I had, I accidentally deleted the tire cat. I, it was on the lift and I, I deleted it. I did something. Oh, you know what this is? No, this is an older one. This is one where you can't individually control, but it still functions. It still works. Uh, let me see if I can find. Mm -hmm. I believe it's. I, I believe this is right before the final version. So, um, yeah, nothing's painting painted. It's still a little, little rough. But pretty much, I took inspiration from what I did here, which is I have six engines. Yeah, that makes more sense. There's six engines here. And each engine runs its own bearing. So let's... Yeah, so I accidentally, I accidentally deleted the uh, the final one, but I did upload it to the Steam Workshop, so... If I need, do need to go back to it, then... Uh, I know where it's at. Alright, so yeah. So did the back half, did the front half, worked on the blade... And at one point, Alex was, um, he hopped in the, the game with me. And uh, at that point, I only had this part done and this part done. So he, he, I gave him a copy of it, and I don't know if he ever finished it. But, <clears throat> uh, yeah, when I gave him a copy of it, it was, you know, it was pretty rough. So uh, I'm not quite sure what he did on it. But anyways, um, so yeah, I did the blade, did the wheels, and then worked on the, the crane, finalized it, figured out how I wanted to do it. And then it came down to, hop in here real quick. So then it came down to the, uh, I, don't know, I gotta open this door real quick. But then it came down to how 
in the world was I going to do this claw. Now, for some of you guys, you, you'll know that I did a John Deere. John Deere skitter, which let me hold up here. Skitter, yeah. So you'll know that I did a John Deere skitter. And uh, it's uh, it's slightly different than the uh, you know the tiger cat there. It's a little more uh, primitive, if you will. Uh, I see. I went kind of with the same blade. Eh, not really. This one's more square. Um, uh, I forget where it's going with that. Anyways, yeah. So the tiger cat skitter is a little more advanced than the uh the john deere one here uh i still need to add in this part right here the front uh oh i was talking about the claw um so yeah as you guys can tell there's a pretty big difference between the claws uh this one i just you know i did kind of real quick i didn't really put a lot of time into it this claw however uh i did put quite a bit of time into it and I was looking around on the Steam Workshop, trying to find something I could, uh, you know, reference off of. So I ended up coming across this thing, which, let me get that off the lift. Uh, yeah, because this thing's pretty laggy. So, yeah, what I ended up doing was, oh, maybe... What I ended up doing was just pulling this claw off. And then I just kind of reference off of here. Now, obviously, I didn't need something this big. Uh, and I actually started to build in this style, but I'm like, you know what? Like, I don't think that's what it looks like. I think it's just too, you know, too low claw. So this is the result of that. And I also wanted it to be able to freely rotate. So I went on to the Steam Workshop once again and came across a couple universal joints. Uh, so there's that one. I ended up using this one. And it's weird how you have to do it. So Oops, that's the wrong tool. So in order to put this on your machine, it's like its own separate blueprint. And then you just, you know, you weld it on there. Uh oh um there we go okay um but yeah so i was trying to actually build that i have the mod for it it's called mechanical parts and here here it is and i was trying to build it and then i found out that you can't just build it it's a it's a blueprint um but yeah so that allows the claw to uh freely rotate is a, is a little wonky, I, I will say that. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much the overview. Like I said, we've got a couple more things we need to uh, add to it. So I guess let's start finding stuff that we can... And that's the other thing too, like I don't want this thing to be super bulky to use. Wrong way. Like, I want this thing to be as close to real life as possible. Now, obviously, you know, that's going to be difficult because it's a game with blocks and, you know, pretty much just straight edges. Uh, okay, hold on. Let me see something here. All right, what else can we use? Uh, let's see. I need to find kind of like a, uh, guard for the window, like a brush thingy-mabobber. And I'm trying to av uh, avoid using pipe. Can I use this? Maybe. That, 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 that. And before I forget, let's go ahead and cover this back up here so I don't accidentally delete anything. Here we go. 
All right, so what I'm thinking... Is, can I place that like that? No. I cannot. Can I weld it? Uh, let's go ahead and... Can I weld... This... Weld that to that. I cannot. Oh, that sucks. Okay. Uh, I guess we're probably going to have to use pipe. Maybe this one here. I was really trying to avoid it, but I don't think there's anything in-game that has the right angle that I need that isn't super bulky. Um... we got here maybe that that mm, that made it look like a like a bowl how do i get this Oh, I know what I can do. I know what I can do. All right. So what we need is controller. Boom. Do we have a free controller in here? There's so much stuff in here. Uh, I do. I do believe we do. Do believe we do. All right. So what we're gonna do is grab an invisible bearing. They say right there. And so that should now... All right, so bearing down to that controller. Boom. We're going to go to the other side here. We are right here. Okay. Boom. All right. And then we're going to connect this to that one. There we go. Now, oh, somehow we have to get underneath here without destroying everything. There we go. And we're going to set these to... I'm going to guess they're 45s. See negative forty five. Yeah, I think that looked I might uh I might add something on the end of that. So at least we know that that would look alright. Alright, so oh, okay. Negative 30. Can we put anything on the end of that? All right. So let's go ahead and take it all the way back around. Oh, no. I don't want that. Take it all the way back around here. Oh, okay. Wrong way. Okay. That'll work. We'll just uh, make it glitch into, into that. That'll work. Okay. And this will be plus 60. Okay, so why is... Oh. I think I need to move one back. There we go. There we go. And then... Reconnect to... That one. And that'll be plus 60. Eh, I mean, it looks alright. 
sure if we throw a little bit of paint on it, it'll look even gooder. So, go ahead and paint that black. Yep. Good. Looks good. Get this. There we go. And it definitely makes it look a lot beefier having those there. Wish I could do something about it. I'm just going to leave it how it is. All right. What else do we need to do this? Maybe add some more details. Let me see if I can find any type of a grill. I don't know if I could spell. No. Uh, solid net block. No. Ooh. What is this? We might be able to do some of this. Maybe we'll show those motors off a little bit here. There we go. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Uh, I don't know. Let's see what else, what else we have here. Net block. Uh, and for those watching, if you guys want to input any on this, I am totally cool with that. Because I am just going with the flow right now. Ooh, crap. There we go. And I'm pretty sure I've tried this thing before. Yeah. And it is massive. Oh, man. If it was just one more taller. Hold on. Maybe I can... Sink it down one more here. Oh, that looks pretty sweet. I do say so myself. Yep, so let's see here. I'm trying to think what else I can add to it. I just don't want to overdo it, you know? I don't, I don't want to overdo it and make it be too much what I really need to find actually now that I'm looking at the back is some type of cable drum I think this one's way too big yeah um see what else we can find here uh metal spore we need something that looks Cable-ish. Cable drum-ish. Try this. Now. Beauty front. Uh, let's see here. Need something that kind of resembles a cable in a way. I mean, if I can't find something, it's no big deal. Uh, vent block. Alright, let's try back at the top here. Do, do. I just hear things glitching out all over the place. Um... And uh, I was just looking at the, uh, there's a light somewhere up here. Uh, I did have some added to it, but, you know, I decided it, technically in this game, it's it's never nighttime unless you have a night mod. So I'm not going to worry about putting lights on. I mean, it would look cool, but uh, it's not needed. Uh, let's see here. I already tried that. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if we're going to find anything that is going to be small enough. 
for what I'm, you know, I don't think it's gonna suffice. Uh, so we're just gonna move on from that, for, from that for a minute or two. I want to add something here. I wonder. No. Okay. I thought I could stick those out, but put that there. Boom. Boom. Kind of make this base a little bit wider here. Put my paint tool away. Oh, no, it's right there. Oops. And I'm just kind of, just kind of adding things. Trying to, you know, fill it in a little bit more, but not, not add too much. Make it look crazy. Need to make sure that that's not going to interfere with with it uh, rotating. Okay. All right, let's test this out and make sure that those aren't gonna interfere with that. And I don't think they do. Actually, it does a little bit, which is which is fine because I was actually getting ready to put in like a little stop. Um, so that way it doesn't go back too far. Uh, all right, let's see here. I kind of need to do the same thing up there. It doesn't over rotate. Although I guess if it, you know, it's no big deal. Oh, missed the block here. Here we go. Um, I know this is kind of all over the place with you know what I'm doing, but I'm just you know as I'm thinking of things, I'm adding them. So let's see here. If I added that. Now I need something that kind of resembles a tank, like a hydraulic tank. Ava, red, blah, blah, blah. But once again, I don't want it to be bulky. Kind of want it to, to fit in, you know. Uh, laser sight. We don't need lasers. <laughs> we don't need lasers on this. Uh, maybe in the future there will be lasers and stuff on machines. Battery. I wonder. Potato, chemicals, paint, ammo. You know, a lot of this stuff I've never... Upgrade... Parts, unlock, unlock bots and okay, yeah, no. Uh a lot of the stuff I've never I've never even messed with. Don't need that. House ventilation. Um we may not be able to find that. That's too big. Yeah, I need something that size, but just I need this uh, crane cable roll in that size. All right, let's see what else we have here. Just gonna grab a couple random things that I see because I'm need a update a couple things on the front and just all right so I couldn't find a tank so but this is the other thing I was thinking of uh yeah that's a little too long 
we have anything shorter, I wonder. Uh, let's see here. Uh, ramp, metal store beam. Nope, you know what? I'm just going to keep what was on it. Where am I? Oh, yeah, there it is. So it was... Ah. I hate when that happens. There we go. Yeah, I know it's probably pretty pointless to have a step over here right now. But in the future, if I decide to update this thing, I will, you know, if I want to add another door to it, it'll be uh, convenient that there's already a step. Not that the step's, like, super hard to, to put in or anything. Um, What else? What else can I add here? Real quick, let me... Let me pull up a picture of the tiger cat and see if I can get any more inspiration from that. Some different things I want to add. Let's see here. Find a good picture of it here. There we go. Oop. All right, so. Nope, that's not it. I've actually been in. Um, I've actually sat in a tire cat. The tire cat that I'm building. Uh, I've actually sat in one like that. I think it's the 635. Wing boom skitter. Um, and let me just tell you this thing, when I sat in it, like, it was massive. It was really cool. Uh, that, I did that at the, uh, Paul Bunyan show. Saw a lot of neat forestry equipment. Uh, let's see here. Eh, that's kind of a good picture. And a lot of what I was referencing, um, FDR's Tiger Cat Skitter, you know, end game and FS22. And now that I look at some real pictures of it, I mean, there's some differences, but for the most part, it's it's pretty much the same. Um, and I, I was really good at, you know, being creative. I'm sure I could probably think of some, some more details to add to it to make it look a lot better. But, uh, you know, a good example would be, you know, I could add pistons to it. Or I potentially could. I don't think I'm going to because I tried that with my Tiger Cat Skitter and uh, it didn't end too well. It didn't really work out that well. All right. Well, let's see here. Let's do one... Uh, one final walk around here. See if there's anything else that we can add or fix. Uh, I'm gonna say, you know, I'm gonna say for the most part, this is pretty much done. Oh, I did need to add a button on the outside here. Not sure. Now this is going to work, because, wait, can I, okay, hold up, I got so many wires going everywhere, button 10 goes there, I don't know if I can make a two-way switch, that'd be kind of cool. Um, oh, you know what we could do? Let's try this sensor. Let's try putting a, uh, try putting a sensor on the outside here. So when we walk up to it, it'll open. 
I think that'd be pretty cool. I don't know if it's going to work because I've never used the sensor. Try this again here. Never used the sensor. I don't like that placement. Let me put this block. I had to put a uh, collision block uh, blocks right here because the door would collide with it. Yeah, that's why that one's um and some light. It's a slightly different color. Uh, so I think for the sensor, we are gonna put it. Can I put? No, I can't put it there. Maybe we'll put it right here. A little less noticeable. And can we then look into that? I don't, like I said, I don't know if this is going to work or not. Okay, so it does detect us. All right, let's see here. Without destroying, actually, you know what? Go ahead and save this real quick. One thing I've learned about this game is um, be sure to save as much as you can when you can, because uh, all it takes is one, you know, misclick, and your whole creation is gone, or not gone, but. Did I hook that up to the right thing? Uh, let's see here. Where is that going? No, I'm not even sure if I hooked it up to anything. All right, so... Okay, interesting. need to hook to this sensor or this what can I connect that to let me place a couple things down here okay not in use Let's see if we can figure this out here Maybe we'll maybe we'll do away with the uh, the button here. Okay, and the sensor here. Connect it up to our controller. And we do need to move it. Okay. Not a big deal. Oh, that was the sound. Here we go. Maybe we'll put it right here. Kind of a bad spot, but maybe we can get it to blend in maybe maybe not all right so let's put it back on here limit so now we lock up to it uh okay so actually you know what we're gonna do we're gonna bring it down one more so the one thing with this game is, oh crap, it's a lot of uh, trial and error to see what works. Uh, let's see here now. Let's go ahead and put these uh, mod parts. Uh, yeah, so it's a lot of trial and error 
on what works. One thing I like about this game is you can kind of experiment around and, you know, see what works. All right, so let's get rid of that. Put our sensor here. And then connect it to there. Boom. Put it on switch mode, maybe. It will detect us over here. Holy crap. Uh, button. We'll put it on button. Here we go. So we stand in front of it. Hop in. The door will close. That's actually pretty sweet. And then when we're done, let's hop out. Oh, that's pretty sweet. I actually kind of like that. It'll auto close for you. Um, it doesn't look the best on the side there, but you know what? I'm gonna. I'm just gonna live with it. I think it'll be all right. Yeah, yeah. Stand here. Hop in the seat. And then if you need to hop back in, just do that. Yeah, and actually what that does now is that frees up a button slot or a button slot for some lights. I know I said I wasn't going to put any on, but I think now that that uh, hot bar slot is available, we are going to go ahead and put some lights on and we'll make them to where they're uh, toggleable or toggle where you can shut them on and off. Wow, really struggled with that word. <laughs> for some reason. All right, so let's get this back into that position there. All right, so real quick here, let me just reference this. All right, yeah, let me reference a couple pictures here. All right. Uh, so I'm just going to kind of, kind of freestyle this a little bit, but we're going to put some lights up here. Uh, and for those wondering why there's a hole in the roof, it's so uh, you can get in and out of the machine without glitching through the machine <laughs> or being stuck in the cab. Um, I usually do that with all my builds with small cabs is I just make it to where when you hop out, you just are right there. Uh, and real quick, let's go ahead and save this. There we go. Uh, yeah, and as I mentioned, I, I'm kind of just jumping all over the place, but that's just, that's just how I do things. You know, I think of something, I'm like, oh yeah, let's do that. Or, hey, look at that. You know, I'm just like, squirrel. All right, let's go ahead and bring this back up here. There we go. Oh, and it does drive. I forgot to show that it does drive. It actually drives pretty smoothly. And like I also mentioned earlier, if you have the power turned up too much for the wheels, uh, actually I'll demonstrate that real quick for you guys. If you have the power, let's, you know what, let's just go all the way. I really need a new keyboard. So we're going to... Oh. we got to use the uh, automatic door. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, this is why the power isn't turned up all the way and also why I have those brackets right there. Because it will... Uh, the back wheels will actually just sit there and do 360s. Yeah, we're gonna turn that down. Turn that all the way back down to here. There we go. Uh, what was I gonna add? 
Oh, now it's too slow. Um, yeah, I got distracted by what I was doing. Oh, I was gonna add lights on the top. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right. So the interactive, they should be in here somewhere. Uh, and I'm also wondering if they'll shine through this vent. And actually, the vent's not see through. Um, what else is there? Because I think it'd be really cool if they were like um, recessed back in or back in and you know protected by. That's too big. That's the thing about this game too. It's like either things are like way too big or they're they're way too small. Um, <laughs> what is see through? Uh, nope, that's too big. Hollow concrete. I like how it's called hollow concrete. <laughs> All right, let's see here. <laughs> Do we have anything in there? Oh, here it is. Um, something like this might work. Don't know how we're going to do it, but... Yeah, you know what? Really need to think of a better way to get up here. Yeah. All right. So, like I said, I'm just gonna kind of, gonna kind of freestyle this light system. Oh, and I also need to adjust the blade a little bit too. Um, let's see here. Boom. Let's see what we'll do. Parts wedge. We'll do, I think this is center here. Now we can't really do that. Uh, let's see here. We'll just do three wide, do a light, light. And does that look too bulky? I mean, that's how it is in real life, so uh, we'll go with it. And we'll do three across the back. And, well, <clears throat> thinking about it, go and paint that black. There we go. And we'll do one off the driver's side, too. Just like that. Can I actually black those out? Oh, that's pretty cool. There we go. Hmm. Okay. Not bad. Um, all right. So the next thing we need to do is go ahead and get these wired in here. Uh, I don't know. I'm kind of running out of room here where I can hide stuff. Uh, let's see if we have a little gap under here. Oh, look. I got this whole, whole section under here. Uh, actually, we can, we can even tuck it up in. All right, now the fun part. Wait, are those not... Wait, what is... Oh, okay. Do we need, I think we need to switch our lights out here. 
see lights on off round um no they're all what am i doing wrong here i found that sometimes it helps to go off to the side or you know build a like separate little thing off to the side and kind of mock up what you're doing uh let's see here so that won't connect to that do we even need that that's the question interactive we might um, yeah i don't think we need oops I don't think we need the controller. I think we just need the switch. There we go. All right. Well, that's simple enough. Oops. All right. Oop. Glitching out. Glitching out. Oh no. <laughs> it's like trapping me in here. Uh so we'll put it right here. Then boom. 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 Maybe. We'll hook it up to the driver's seat. Uh, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go with a smaller light or a different style here. Um, one light. Let's try this mini. Actually, you know what? We're going to try a couple different ones here. Just to see how it looks. Work light. No, no. Now we'll try that one and the slim. I just think these are a little obnoxious. Uh, and I also just remembered I have a mod in here. Inverted corner. Ah, no, that won't work. All right, so those are the minis. Eh, not a big fan of that one or that one. Uh, ooh. You know what we'll do? We'll, we'll make this one uh, like an updated one, I guess. So we'll put these. Can we not? There we go. There we go. We'll make these uh, low profile, if you will. Yeah, there we go. All right, so let's go and get these hooked up then. Hopefully, yeah, I'm going to stand right here so you don't close on me, door. Boom, boom. Number 10. Yeah, I actually kind of like having that lower profile um, light system. Uh, do I still have a light connected somewhere <laughs> on the ground? Uh, let's move out of the way here. Oh, you know what it is? I think it's because there is a little bit of an air gap under there, and it's just shining through. Not a big deal. All right, let's get rid of this and that. You know, I'm sure there's probably a mod out there that um, deletes any, like, random blocks that are left behind. All right, so I think cosmetically that's all I'm going to add for the time being. Uh, one more thing we have to kind of test out here is to see how well it grabs logs. And, yeah, I'll probably do a couple more 
finishing touches the next couple day or so. Um, but for the most part, this should be uh, should be done. Uh, I didn't adjust the blade, so that's one of the things that I will fix here. But uh, we are closing in on the hour mark, so I kind of want to keep the stream uh, near an hour. Doesn't have to be super long. All right. Uh, for the sake of it, I'm going to put the blade down. Why am I drifting backwards? Okay. All right. So this is the fun part. Okay. Nope. Nope. There we go. I guess it helps if I hit the right buttons, huh? Let's get a little closer here. Uh, doo -doo -doo. All right, so if I rotate this, no, it's already rotated. Okay. I need to go down. I did test this yesterday, so I know it is work. It does work. It's just a little tricky to to get lined up here. Oh. Might have to get a straighter shot at it here. Right, real quick, I got to turn the engine power back up here. There we go. Oh, I really, as I mentioned earlier, I really need to get a new keyboard because my space bar likes to, to stick. I attempted to clean my keyboard the one day and uh, lost a spring in the keyboard or on the space bar. And now it does not want to close or now it doesn't want to uh, function properly. All right, we need to get a better approach to this here. All right, let's try, let's try this way. I feel like this will work this time. Okay, back over. There we go. I think we're pretty much lined up. Maybe a little bit more. Come on. All right, let's try this again here. Uh, I got like some weird collision going on here. No, it works. <laughs> I tested it yesterday. It's just you got to get it lined up on the log just right. You know, I could probably just build my own tree if I wanted to. Maybe simpler, but I know it works for this. Just got to get it lined up. Uh, okay, so might have to do a little tweaking with the grapple. Actually, you know what? Uh, let's do that real quick here. So that is running to this controller here. Oops. All right, so 45, 45. We just uh, adjusted the uh, angle of the bearings. And now, uh, 
Uh, no, we didn't. We adjusted the wrong thing. Or, I guess I adjusted the wrong thing. Alright, so those need to be back at 30. And, oh, other way. 15, 15. There we go. Now let's let's try her again here. Okay, so left. Down. There we go. That looks much gooder. Much better. Alright. Wrong way. There we go. Oh yeah, that worked beautifully. Back over. It doesn't once it's grappled, it doesn't like to go left and right, but it does pick up the log. Um yeah, I figured it would probably settle down. Alright, so um yeah, there is my tiger cat skitter. Now, like I said, I'm gonna put this on the Steam Workshop. So that way, if you guys want to, you know, test it out, add some things, improve it, take it apart, whatever you want to do with it, that is completely fine. Fine. You will also find the other creations that I have made, uh, such as the John Deere Skitter, the and the Buncher. Both of those should be on the Steam Workshop, or should be on the Workshop for Scrap Mechanic on Steam. So, yep, that's going to do it for today's stream. I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Uh, I know it wasn't probably ex as exciting as the other ones, but um, still a lot of fun finalizing this thing. And uh, yeah, so that's going to do it. And I will see you guys on Tuesday uh, for some Trucker Tuesday. Also, uh, if you haven't hit the subscribe button and turn those notifications on here on YouTube, be sure to do that because uh, I've got, I believe, all together eight videos coming out over the course of the next month or so. So uh, make sure you guys don't miss those. Leave a like if you like it. Uh, also, you can find all my other socials down in the description. And that is all.